The home for this home for Jay Gatsby uh, started from a two-dimensional grid study uh, with the word transparent that evolved into a three-dimensional relief study and with the shape that we developed uh, molded into a home for to fit the client's needs. The concept was that in F. Scott Fitzgerald's novel, The Great Gatsby, uh, the great uh, Jay Gatsby was a very ambiguous character. Uh, he didn't tell people, he said he was an Oxford man, he didn't tell people where he was from, uh, he, would, he would have fake identities, he would tell people that he went to Oxford, and uh, all you can know was that he uh, was wealthy and he was in the military. Throughout the grid study, um, I was able to show transparency with by juxtapositioning the what is clear and what isn't. Uh, for example, like the opaque shaded regions and borders around what is transparent, and this kind of fits exactly with that. Jay Gatsby, a man who is very um, shrouded in uh, covered in darkness, he uh, like uh, by placing him inside a transparent home you could you could see what is transparent and what isn't so he acts as basically the grid showing the transparency of the home so there's two floors in this house um, first floor focuses on the public side of Jay Gatsby he uh, threw parties every night that uh, in order to impress Daisy, and, uh, who was his former lover. And the first floor contains a large dining table, a large kitchen, and like an informal living space, and also a very large outdoor living space that uh, allows the guests to emerge and uh, have fun and enjoy themselves and fun. The second floor, however, is mainly uh, his private space. So as we've talked about, Gatsby is a man who's like who keeps things to himself keeps uh, secrets to himself and it was it was important that he had a place for himself that was private so the the bedroom as you can see is kind of sectioned off closed off um, to the rest of the house uh, it's on the second floor uh, with a large bedroom a large closet and a uh, bathroom with a normal shower also it's got a multi-purpose space that has laundry space and it, it can serve as a home gym, it can serve as a home office, or anything else that he needs that space for, it can be kept. So the design concept was that Jay Gatsby was a man who loved spending money. He uh, came into riches through bootlegging and uh, he, he would, as we talked about, he would throw incredible parties every night and uh, this this entryway that I drew here is, is a example of like a, his grand uh, expression he his flaunting his wealth things like that uh, it allows people to catch a glimpse of who Jay Gatsby is it allows him them to experience Jay Gatsby so the interior uh, this the stairwell is the main focus it connects the entire uh, the entire home not only is that convenient it uh, allows for an open space and uh, it gives the guests an experience who, uh, for about Jay Gatsby, who is almost like a bigger than life character. Some people will go to his parties and not even know who he is, no, won't even know what he looks like. So yeah, so he also deserved a space that fit all his needs and that could have everything that he ever wanted. So he has a large uh, closet and a large bath that is open, all connected to his bedroom. So yeah, so a lot of things that I was going through while designing this house was um, how each thing's connected and how each thing showed transparency it was it was a uh, while it was it had a lot of glass glass was not the thing that showed transparency it was the thing that showed transparency was that how things connected how things interacted with each other and uh, that was the main focus the as you can clearly see, the main entryway is going to be what connects everything, and that's what I want to show with, that's what came out of the grid, and that's what came out of the relief study, and that's what I want to show with this house. And it, Jay Gatsby is a man of 
mystery and it fit 